Number 13. Orthogoniosaurus. It is, a, it is also a late Cretaceous theropod dinosaur from the Lamita Formation, Jabalpur, Madhya Pradesh. And it was much like Endosaurus and Rajasaurus. Number 14. Rahiolisaurus. It is also an albedosaurid theropod dinosaur of late Cretaceous described on the basis of fossil recovered from the Lamita Formation, Gujarat. Size estimated to be of 6.3 meter of or 2.7 feet in length. Number 15. Rajasaurus. This is a very famous albedosaurid theropod dinosaur from the India. This theropod dinosaur was discovered by Suresh Srivastava of Geological Survey of India and he discovered this the fossil of Rajasaurus from the Narmada Valley in Rahali in Mahisagar district of Gujarat, India. The length of this dinosaur was supposed to be of in between 6 to 7 meter. Number 16. Celluroidus. These, are, uh, these were the small theropod dinosaurs from the Lameda formation. Fossils of these celluroid, uh, celluroidus are recovered from the Bara Shimla Hill, Jabalpur, Madhya Pradesh. And they are from late Cretaceous formation. Ornithomimoides. This is a dubious genus, that means we are scientists are not sure about this genus, whether it is a new genus or it is a material from an already known genus of a dinosaur. And it is a theropod dinosaur of late Cretaceous period and known from the five dorsal vertebrae from the Lameda formation. And these vertebrae were recovered from the Bada Shimla Hill from Jabalpur, Madhya Pradesh. Number 18, Jabalpuria. This is also a small theropod from the late Cretaceous period. This is also from the Madhya Pradesh and from Jabalpur district of Madhya Pradesh. And as we know, as you can see here that most of the dinosaurs are recovered from the Madhya Pradesh, especially from the region that are near to Jabalpur. So its name is actually dedicated to the Jabalpur district of the Madhya Pradesh. Number 19, Levisuchus. It is an albedosaurid theropod dinosaur from Jabalpur, Madhya Pradesh. This theropod is from late Cretaceous period, known from few cervical vertebra and a dorsal vertebra. Number, nine, uh, number 20, Lametosaurus. This is also albedosaurid theropod dinosaurs from the Lameda formation, Jabalpur, Madhya Pradesh. Type material is lost and genus is nomen dubium. As the, as the material or the fossil that are recovered uh, uh, from the, uh, from the Lameda formation, Jabalpur is being lost. Uh, so its genus name is now no more considered as in scientific uh, as a scientific name generic name as if we are not very sure about this animal and we can uh, from the previous uh, list of dinosaur we we can know that most of the dinosaurs uh, most of the theropod dinosaurs of india are of this group albedosauridae and these were the theropod dinosaurs that are uh, that are abundant in the Gondwana land and we are, we are not going to find these dinosaurs uh, or we are rarely find such dinosaurs in the Laurasia and that's it that is why that is also uh, why the Tyrannosaurus are not found in India although the species like Carnotosaurus that are in this group we uh, do find in the Laurasia, but most of them are not like this Rajasaurus is India. You are not going to find Rajasaurus in China or Europe or Asia or in North America. Similarly, the
is Majungasaurus, which is very closely, very closely related to the Rajasaurus, is from Madagascar. And you are not going to find this Majungasaurus from the Laurasia. Then we have a Brachiopodosaurus. Brachiopodos, uh, Brachiopodosaurus, the, uh, the meaning of the name is short footed lizard. This dinosaur is known from the Lameda Formation, Chota Shimla Hill, Jabalpur, Madhya Pradesh. The holotype specimen is IMV9, is now in Banaras Hindu University, Varanasi. Although this genus is dubious, it was originally classified as Stegosaurus and this is how uh, this is uh, Stegosaurus and originally this Pachypodosaurus was supposed to be look like a uh, Stegosaur any of the Stegosaurs so they group uh, they put it in a group called Stegosaur which includes Stegosaurus but close analysis of this of this uh, fossil is now put this dinosaur in a different group that is ankylosaur which is a close related to the stegosaur but not actually a stegosaur it is a dinosaur much like uh, ankylosaur uh, and like this 22 genosaurus it was a large titanosaur sauropod dinosaur from late cretaceous it was supposed to be of 15 meter long humerus is of 4.4 feet that is 134 centimeter long known from more than one remain and the first remain is from the lameda formation jabalpur madhya pradesh and this dinosaur name is named after a uh, very famous Indian paleontologist Sohan, Dr. Sohanlal Jain. 23. Isiosaurus. This is a uh, this is also a titanosaur, sauropod dinosaur, and this its genus name is after Indian Statical Institute, that is ISI Kolkata. This is from Lameda Formation of Cretaceous Period. The original specimen ISIR 335-1-65 was originally classified as Titanosaurus. Now from various specimen, it's humorous, uh, known from various specimen and now it is uh, treated as a separate genus Isosaurus and its humerus is 148 cm that is 4.8 feet in length that is slightly larger as compared to the Genosaurus. Number 24 Titanosaurus it is a dubious genus of sauropod dinosaurs and after Wilson classification of these sauropod it is no longer a valid genus but this if it is a valid genus, it should uh, it it is from Lameda formation, and these are the some of the vertebra that are uh, found from the Jabalpur, Madhya Pradesh, and these are now lost. Uh, they are no longer in the scientific record. Uh, that's why these are the dubious genus. That's why it is a dubious genus and according to new classification it is no longer a genus but because of this genus this titanosaurus we have a family named after this genus titanosauridae which include very large size sauropod dinosaur like this is a this is a femur of a very one of the uh, it is the largest dinosaur ever to find and even the largest the largest femur was eight feet long and it that animal was still growing and it was uh, it was approximately 40 meter long from snout to tail and this titanos this family of titanosaur they possess the largest uh, land animal uh, the largest animal that uh, ever to live on earth these are these animals were 
even larger than the blue whale. Blue whale is up to 30 meter long, but this animal was 40 meter long and that was still growing. And at last we have a dinosaur Bruhatkaosaurus. Bruhatkaosaurus is named derived from the Sanskrit and Brihat means large. It is a Sanskrit word, Brihat. And we often, we often, very often use the word Brihaspatvar for the Thursday because this day is devoted to the planet Jupiter and Jupiter is the largest planet and we call it Vrihaspati because, it, because of its large size. So Vrihat means large size. So the Brihat, uh, the Brihat Kaisaras, the Vrihat means large. This Kaya is from the Sanskrit word Kaya. Kaya means body and Saras is a Latin for the lizard. So that means Vrihat means large or the colossal Kaya means body, large body lizard and it might be the one of the largest dinosaur but it is also a dubious species genus and it was supposed to be uh, 35 meter long according to some scholars but these estimates are highly controversial and based on some rough estimates and some crude data and not from the actual specimens. Originally, uh, it was discovered by the GSI and originally the scientists of GSI classified this dinosaur as a theropod dinosaurs which include Rajasaurus, Indosaurus, Majingasaurus. But later on, they described is it as a titanosaur sauropod dinosaurs known from few specimens uh, and these for few of these specimens uh, contain ilium and uh, some hip bones, uh, tibia and I don't know to which specimen to this catalog number referring but it is a catalog number for of one of these specimen or a specific collection of this specimen I don't know this is GSI PL slash SR slash 20 this is a catalog number of this specimen but this specimen is no longer as in the collection this, this specimen is being lost and uh, this is no longer in the collection so this make this dinosaur a uh, dubious species because no longer we have this uh, specimen of this dinosaur but this specimen this these fossils were recovered from the Kalamedu village of Trichinopoli district of Tamil Nadu and as this specimen are lost uh, this genus is not valid. This dinosaur, this titanosaur was of Cretaceous period. And this is the map that I have taken from the book Dinosaurs of India by Ashok Sahani. And Ashok Sahani, Dr. Ashok Sahani uh, did a very great work in the, in the exploration of Indian dinosaurs and it is a map which is showing the distribution of the footprints, dinosaur eggs, dinosaur bones in some of the districts. So they are they were quite abundant in the Gujarat region, Central India, Andhra Pradesh. This is the Kalamedu village from where the Bruhatkaosaurus dinosaur has been recovered. We have found the brain cases, coprolites, the fossilized excreta of dinosaur we have recovered footprints we have found fragment of eggshells nesting sites eggs skeletal materials of dinosaur so dinosaur remains are quite rich in india but still we need to explore more because we don't have up to now we don't have experts on dinosaur in india and we need more research work to explore the treasure of India and thank you.